Good evening, Sri Lanka. Welcome to the Royal Complex. Here we are, the 67th Bradby. An intense confrontation, a cracker of a game expected in the middle today, because I'll tell you this much, eight points up in Candy does not mean much to Royal College, or does it? Trinity College, they understand the requirement. This is Trinity versus Royal, the oldest school's rugby fixture in the world. And here we are on Channel I, live, as always, where else? Where else on earth would you get pictures like this? Where else are you going to get it live? Where else are you going to get so close to the action? And you begin to understand how the heart beats and how everything else works. This is rugby at its best. Singer have been in the fray. Singer have been in the scrum for Royal College and for Trinity for 17 long years. It's very much the story of the decade. Here we are now trying to understand what we have to look forward to. My job here today is simple to try and present to you everything that looks like a cracker of a game in the middle. It's a confrontation like never before. No love lost. Everything to play for for Trinity because they haven't won this rugby in such a long time. Royal defending their title. Let's have a look at the weather that's going to dictate a little bit of the pace in the middle. Here we go. It's going to be very, very intense. 30 degrees in the middle means about 35 in your boots or even a little bit more than that. The heat is intense. Humidity, it's about 70 plus, which means you're going to have to spend a lot of time with rehydrate, plenty of water in the engine, sip, sip, sip. And the weather report, as always, says it's very cloudy. But of course, well, we have clear skies right now. Later on, there's been a little bit of form that the weather comes up and by about 4.35, it darkens up. But that we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. What? Never mind the weather. We are here because we're here together on 88. Well, this is going to be wonderful because this is the magic that makes it all special. This is the glue that binds all of us, rugby players, generations of rugby players, Royal and Trinity, generations of rugby players all around the world have come back to Colombo just for this little time. It is special. If you look at the crowds, if you look at the whole story, it's unbelievable. Stood next to me now is a very old friend of mine. He was my rugby coach in my playing days, a former Trinitian, a captain, a captain of Sri Lanka. Now, Ajit, thank you. It's a special day, I know. You were very excited up in Candy about what happened. You thought you almost had it. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, Ajit, Trinity in Candy didn't really give the best account of themselves. Yes, I agree with that because they are capable of much more. I believe Royal played a 100% game, but Trinity played only 60% of what they are capable of. And I, they have an all-attack, you know, expansive style of play, which they did not exhibit uh, on that uh, particular day two weeks ago. But they are capable of running up 30 points, uh, Chandrashan, because they got uh, the players, they got the skill. Uh, I may say, we got the skill. And, uh, true, uh, true, they, it's we, we got the skill. Uh, yeah, and uh, if we uh, just approach the game, with an open mindset, without being confined, I'm sure this is going to be one All right. big Fair battle. Call. It's going to be a big, huge big battle in the middle. Yes. We're going to look forward to that. Let's have a look at the highlights from Candy. Unbelievable, because uh, what went on there was just magical. Because I thought Royal controlled the game really well in that first half. Yeah. But after that, it Trinity had their chances. They just didn't take them. Yes, I believe uh, they lost it a bit in the second half. Uh, but uh, Royal just played a very simple pattern, uh, Chandrashan. They kicked to the corners and they used the forward so effectively. Ten yards from the line, they are unstoppable. Tremendous skill levels. But again, I would like to say the Trinity forwards taken individually have got uh, much more to offer. But uh, as a unit, I think uh, Royal forwards are marvellous, led by Shehan Patirana. All right, let's have a look at those highlights. It's a line out. Beautiful probably kick a by Jamal. For Royal, probably just an opening game. Oh, probably if Royal push them out. right through. What? It's going to be uh, it's going to be an advantage. You can see Royal going over the line. Will they score? That's the question. They are over the line. It's just a matter of time. They have scored. They what have a scored. start for Royal College. Wonderful right start. on the dot of that kick. What a kick from Jamaldin. For a minute, I thought it was going behind the dead ball line, but right, right there for the Royal on the goal line. And what a start for Royal. Hard yards. And they are gaining into Trinity 20. Now they are up about 10 meters from that place. They started this uh, hit and run. And tremendous kick. What oh, a kick. Brilliant try. That's a brilliant try, Ajit. 
I thought that was a tremendous uh, effort by the Royal Captain. Beautiful uh, play. Come out kicking. Just a kick kick. Royal being able to... Patirana. Shayan Patirana. No, the only place is on the field. You have to be a very thin grasshopper as well. Yeah, if you're talking about the stands, but there's plenty of room in, on the pitch. But I'm sure it'll be bulldozed by the 15 boys. Here we go. Good ball. Land move. Space. And they got the inside. Yes, yes. Right time. That's the kind of reply that 3D wanted. had wanted. That's absolutely brilliant. Right in, out on the, on the left. Cut into the right. Through the gap. Through the gap. And 3D has gone over the line. Close to the gap. 17 points to 8. The ball coming out Royal way. There's another opportunity for Royal to score. Can they go through? Trinidians holding on sway. Couple of yards away, the line is sharing. Can Royal score? It's a matter of time. Up they scored. Brilliant. One more try for Royal. What brilliant body angle there. What a drive. You saw the body angle on that. Tremendous power, force, and aggression. Attitude, intrinsic strength. Is a penalty coming up for Trinity. Surely they should score off this. Right under the post. And here comes a try. It's the great fight back coming up, uh, Ravi, I believe, with just uh, 14 minutes to go. I'm sure they can do it. And look at this drive. Tremendous work by Royal. Disrupting the Trinity pack. Will it go over? It will be a tremendous try with the score. Brilliant try. Amazing try. Brilliant scoring. Brilliant push over try, Ajit. Copy book number eight, push over try, Ajit. Amazing. That's tremendous. Looking for support. This could go under the post, but three Royals supporters closing in. Tremendous work, what a great support, 22. And that's Yatavara who just came in. This is Trinity, what they are famous for, coming back, fighting. 23 points on the board. Maybe the last minute, we're taking away. It's all over. It's all over, well done, Royal. Well done, Trinity. You kept the game going, the rugby is the winner. There you go, that was uh, the highlights up in Candy. Unbelievable, really, when you talk about the game and you saw what I just said about the, uh, the control that Royal had in that first half. Trinity had their chances, but were a little bit lacking in terms of normal skills. But, you know, it came down, although having said all this, Trinity actually won the second half. So uh, the game today is everything to look forward to. Not to forget that this game, the Bradby, is perhaps history's greatest for schools. Let's go up to the commentary box. Let's take it live. You enjoy the 67th Bradby because this is what Sri Lanka has to offer. Go on now, take it. Good evening. What a fantastic evening this is at the Royal College Complex as the teams come out to massive cheers from both sets of spectators. The passion, as Chandra Shan said, the emotions, the heart, it's all here. And we trust that you will catch the magic of this moment or this one and a half hours this evening as the two teams line up for the anthems of the two schools.
this is what we have been waiting for at the sports complex at Royal, the 67th Bradby about to kick off. The tally reads 35 wins for Trinity, 30 for Royal, one drawn. That was when Himesh Gunatilaka, captain Trinity, coached by Deva Parra in 1992, one drawn match, uh, one drawn series. But uh, apart from that, all had results, great games. Today we are expecting a rugby spectacle here at the Royal Complex as the Jagat Fernando, the chief guest, walks off the field. As I say, the great son of uh, Royal, that's Asanga Rodrigo, uh, the Royal coach, uh, encouraging his players. And uh, we are all set for the kickoff as Jagat, Jagat Fernando comes into the lineup to uh, start uh, wishing the boys, wishing Trinity first. As we know, Jagat is also uh, a qualified uh, management accountant uh, and uh, uh, is a deputy chairman of John Keels Holdings. Uh, he's also running his own company, uh, pioneered this company with Shia uh, Gats uh, Jackro, the household name. And uh, this man, uh, as I said, uh, was a great sporting icon during his time. He, he comes from a sporting family. His wife, Raymond, his brother, uh, captain the uh, Sri Lanka uh, cricket team, Anuda Tendakun. And uh, his son uh, uh, played for Royal in 97, 98. And uh, Rajiv, his brother, played in 76. Uh, Skanda, uh, flyer of the same position as Jagat, number 10. And uh, he was in that all-conquering Royal team, Virakumar's team in 76. That's a uh, Royal uh, Trinity coaches being wished by Jagat. What a great sportsman this man was. Thank you, Ajit. Brilliant to an honor to share the commentary box with you, having had so much attraction in the Bradby. As you see, beautiful crowds out here, everybody waving, everybody excited. It's eight points that Royal have on Trinity, and Trinity has got to make eight plus. I'm sure the Trinity line is set to row uh, this evening as much as the Royalists are going to defend their hearts out in the complex. The weather conditions are marvelous as once again we see beautiful pictures of Jagat Fernando, a brilliant sportsman in his time and it's a shame that he has had to cut short his uh, rugby and cricket career due to a crippling knee injury and I believe that was like against a police scratch. Head injury really. Third vision after that, but uh, what a great sport money he continue to referee uh, Sri Lanka uh, games and, and also coached Royal uh, when Sriyan Kure was the captain of Royal Ashan. Ratmate was the captain of uh, Trinity at that time. They and looking at him now, I think uh, he would fit into any veterans game. He looks fit as a fiddle, uh, Ajit, still.